sensitivity analysis when performing meta-analysis. Meta-analysis is a statistical technique that can be used to uh, combine data or results from several independent research study, extract the results and then combine them and then uh, uh, calculate the overall or pooled estimate of the effect size for all these studies that address similar uh, specific scientific or research question. If you find this video useful, do subscribe to the channel leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of uh, several different video clips and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of uh, different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, GPower, Python, and RevMan. Sensitivity analysis. What is sensitivity analysis? It is a process of examining and re-examining the reliability of the meta-analysis finding. So it is a process of examining robustness of the meta-analysis finding. How? By evaluating the effect of various changes or alteration in the methodological uh, and analytical uh, selection on the overall findings. So it is a, a, a way of examining the influence, the effects of altering certain specific methodology or analysis uh, on the overall estimate of the effect size. It does identify sources of heterogeneity or bias that can have substantial impact on the overall results. How do we do sensitivity analysis? Is by repeating the primary meta-analysis or the essential or the first meta-analysis performed with certain changes to the data or study included in the analysis. So these changes can be in the analysis model. So the sensitivity analysis can be performed by redoing the meta-analysis and reselecting either a fixed effect models or a random effect model. Another change is, is that to exclude result from specific studies that shows high heterogeneity. So to check whether there is a, a change in the heterogeneity by deselecting a specific study or studies and then uh, examine the level of heterogeneity. Another sensitivity analysis can be performed by changing the effect size measured. If the odds ratio is used as a measure of effect size, then a risk ratio can be used. Similarly, for a continuous data, so odd ratio and risk ratio for binary outcome, for continuous outcomes such as uh, uh, standardized mean difference can be used or replaced by mean difference or hedges G can be used or Cohen's D and so on. So these are the changes that can be uh, adopted when performing and uh, repeating meta-analysis. So it's just a repetition of meta-analysis with changes of one of these uh, uh, options and then observing the effect on the overall estimate of the effect size and also the overall changes in heterogeneity. Sensitivity analysis will allow researcher uh, or examiner 
to test the extent to which the result of a meta-analysis might change when certain assumptions or decision are altered. So it is a way of checking the overall uh, findings from the meta-analysis one, when one of these assumptions or um, uh, statistical methods are changed or altered. Those changes including study selection criteria, quality assessment, statistical method, heterogeneity, publication bias, and data synthesis. So the sensitivity analysis will examine uh, the magnitude or the scale of the changes in the results when one of these are altered when repeating the meta-analysis. So for sensitivity analysis, study selection criteria researcher can examine the effect of including or excluding of certain specific selected studies. Those studies are selected based on certain specific characteristics such as study design, sample size, or quality criteria. By changing, altering the criteria exclusion inclusion, researcher can determine whether the overall result are sensitive to these changes and that's why it's called sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity analysis also can explore the influence of studies with low quality levels by excluding studies with high risk of bias or low methodological quality. Excluding those study can help to evaluate the potential effect of a study quality on overall result. So it is a, a procedure of excluding uh, certain studies that have low level of quality and assessing the impact on the uh, overall effect size. The sensitivity analysis will allow the researcher to test the robustness of the finding by comparing the different statistical models or methods. An example is comparing fixed effects and random effects model using different effect size measures such as odd ratio, risk ratio, and so on. This test will examine if overall estimate effect, uh, effect size are, or, or sizes are dependent on the specific modeling assumption. The sensitivity analysis also will allow exploration of the influence of a study with high heterogeneity in overall uh, results. So by deselecting those study or studies with substantial high effect sizes or performing subgroup meta-analysis based on study characteristics, researcher can assess the impact of heterogeneity on the overall finding. Sensitivity analysis also allow the researcher to assess the impact of different methods for combining study results such as using fixed effect, random effect, ex by excluding studies with larger effect size or by applying different weighing schemes. If you are a student or a researcher and you have a data whether it is um, um, quantitative all qualitative and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages. My contact details are given here. So don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training 
course.